Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to Icarus, where last time we traversed the entire map on this crazy mission. We built up over a mountain pass. We fell to our almost death, but we made it back safely to the house. I've also been looking into fishing and decorations. All right, there we go. That's my 10th or so fish of the morning, and the storm is just about clearing up. Just had some heavy wind in here this morning, so... Let's get these guys all filleted up over here. I have a whole stack of fillets. In fact, they're starting to go bad a little bit. While I'm waiting on that, we have a couple of new decoration pieces to look at. So I made vestiges for the elephant, the cougar, and also the hyena. Although I'm imagining if the, if the elephant is anything like the mammoth, it's just going to be... Well, that doesn't look like it's going to be too big. I mean... It might not look great in here, because it'll kind of dominate the space a little bit too much, but... I'm willing to give it a try for a couple of days. Yeah, because, like, we've got the little old tiny alpha cougar here, or black jaguar, I should say. Anyway, we'll get some sort of a finalized configuration once I, you know, collect them all, and then I'll decide which ones look the best. That one looks kind of funny, doesn't it? Looks like a very long neck hyena. Okay, so in other news, since I was doing all that fishing this morning, I made myself a new fishing lure, and... Is that on the fishing rod now or let me just see how that works here so oh hang on a second i gotta figure this out i thought that i was um fishing with the the blue reed lure all along today however i think it it either is a one shot type of deal there like one single use only or there's a durability to it there does look like there's a durability to it i'll have to pay more attention to that next time let's just give that another try and see what like one fish does to the durability so I just had a, I got to put the blue reed lure on. This gives me a better chance for rare fish, I think it was. And a little bit of an increased, like, catch radius. It might have really helped out the casting strength, too. That was a nice cast. Oh, yes, we got the Azure Diano again. All right, I'm pretty sure that's a rare fish. Ooh, it's a pretty fish, too. Look at that. Okay, and then check the, oh. Wait, no, I still have the lure. Oh, it says right there. Lure 92%, so you just gotta pay attention to that. Okay, I'm done fishing for today, and we should be able to make up some new pickled freshwater fillets. In fact, we're short on jars of all things, so I guess the rest of the meat here will just have to go rotten. Okay, so last thing on the docket here is there's this uh, new material. So there there are some new things that we I want to craft, like this polar bear rug here, and there's a uh, there's like a bear rug in here somewhere, and these are new, new additions, and I'd like to get them, but they require this thing right here, Platinum Weave. And in order to get Platinum Weave, we need Platinum Sheets or Sheaths or something like that. I, I looked it up earlier, yeah, Platinum Sheath right here, which uh, I need to get a point to research that. I spent all of my points this morning like an idiot, <laughs> and there's another thing that requires that stuff anyway. And it's these, the good lures here, the gold ore lure, scorpion tail lure, black wolf, white jelly, poison sack. All these things that I've been collecting all along go to fishing lures, and I had no idea until just today. All right, so at some point, just working on the glass front here, at some point, I'm going to rip off the sloped roof. We're going to do a flat roof like we have here, and we're going to do tempered glass windows on the top row. So imagine that same configuration down there, but up here. I'm gonna bring a lot more headspace into this area here and uh, bring a lot more light in here as well. <laughs> we need all the light we can get with limited power. And speaking of power, we're no closer to get, getting the batteries, so I guess we'll have to wait on that one and just do most of our stuff during the day, sleep at night. But for today, we need to do an operation. We need money and I need to get out and about so that I can make some more exotics. This morning, I got in touch with the space station and did a little bit of shopping. I unlocked a couple of new backpacks, but unfortunately I ran out of resources to be able to craft the backpack. This backpack here will give us plus 12 slots in the inventory, so it'd be really nice to have. We just need to do some fundraising before we can get it. Okay, this one right here that I just took, um, I thought there'd be some kind of a confirmation. It said, um, uh, blaze the trail or something find the canyon so I think this is similar to the last mission that we did in that we need to go well scratch that I, I th it looked like we were going to the desert there but there are some little icons around on the map here that I think we need to go pick up or check on uh, looking at the mission objectives there locate and retrieve drilling equipment 
And then also optionally the power system as well. Will do, but before I go, there was one more thing on the to-do list. I just wanted to grab that so that we can get out and about. And I think, Bertrand, are you hungry? Because you always move slow when you're hungry. Yeah, I left you <laughs> too far away from the food trough. Okay, seems as though Bertrand is happy, so I'm happy. We gotta go, our, our little chore this morning is to go set up these beacons. I have three of these portable beacons now. I have three additional biofuel deep mining drills and I have three cans of fuel for them. In the local area here, there should be two gold and two copper that I've found so far. And so we should now have a total of four drills and we'll get these all set up. Yep, okay, here's one. This is the copper site. Just bring down a drill for this, set it in, and then we'll bring down a beacon for this and set that in. Okay, what do we have for options here? Food, resources. Yeah, we'll do a little uh, minor icon here and we'll do a copperish color. And that should be now on my map over here. Perfect. Okay, juice this up and activate. And on the way back, or at some point today, we'll check on the gold one that's over on the ridge. Um, over, over that way, I guess, somewhere. <laughs> that's why we're doing beacons. So on the exotic front, we there's an event. It's called like a meteor shower, and it's supposed to happen every couple of days, where exotics are then replenished in the caves. And most of these caves around here, I have harvested exotics out of. So if we experience this event, I'll have to go back in those caves and see if I can dig any more out. Okay, there's deep ore site number two for the day. And beacon number two. This one is gold. We'll go with a gold color and we'll go with... Uh, same convention here, I guess. And we'll juice this one up and we should have a bunch of gold coming in there. And I would imagine I could just run in there and speed run this. <laughs> just tank the worms, you know? Don't even bother with them. Okay, so now where was the second copper site that was around here. Uh, was it in that cave over there? Yeah, this one. Uh, I don't think so. However, as we can see, there is an exotic node that's here. Ooh, how do you like that? Partial dodge. Ah, come on, get out of here. Yeah, here we go. This is what we need a lot of today. There we go. Okay, yeah, and, and there was not another... There might have been a meteor shower, actually, now that I think about it. So... We might have to kind of check on all the caves. We got to check on all the caves anyway, because I got to find the copper site. All right, the fourth site will have to wait. I'm going to just set up the beacon here for now, even though I know where this one is. It's very, very close to home. Okay, so um, I'll wait until I naturally stumble across the other copper site. I'm sure I'll find it again someday. And uh, in the meantime, I will try to start harvesting up this drilling equipment that has rained down around here somewhere. Ah, uh, yes, here is the first crate. Which one's this gonna be? This is the drill right here, a tunneling drill quest item. Okay, industrial grade portable electric mining rig designed for horizontal aperture drilling. Very interesting. So where do we need to take that now? We need to take it to a cave entrance, but we also, oh, that red one up there. I, have I been in there before? I don't remember. I feel like I have. Yeah, I think we did because the first time I went into the desert biome, we circled back around through that tunnel and came home. But I need to go pick up the other, I think it's the power source there first. Okay, I found the second crate here. This should be the power source. Oh yeah, with an electricity tool there. That's handy. Okay, now we're off to the cave. All right, we're down by the cave entrance, but there's this nice body of water down here and I could just have to see what kind of fish are in this. Well, just a spotted snapper, but the most gigantic one that I've ever seen before. Wow, man. Stuff that in my backpack. Where <laughs> just don't put it close to the food because it's gonna spoil pretty fast. I don't want that stuff kind of contaminating everything. And yes, this is the cave entrance. Now it says on the left there on the mission objectives to drill through the rock fall and push through the cave. All right, so I'm gonna park Bertrand up here and proceed on foot. And this is co how is there copper just sitting here? This is the most valuable thing in the world. I don't think I quite understood that when I was <laughs> blowing through here the first time. All right, so down we go. We do have some weather incoming. Uh, sandstorm, that'll be on the other side this way to the north. And uh, I'm gonna need some bonuses here. We'll take some jam, we'll take some wine. Uh, that should be good for a little bit of stamina, which should help counteract any pneumonia stamina loss here. Oh, what's with the light going on here? It's very red. So I'm expecting to see a rock fall here in my way pretty much anywhere. Just get the other light out. Oh, I think that's it. Right there, the rock fall, right. Cause this used to go 
right straight through. You can kind of see where it went, and you can kind of also see where it came from up there. Okay, so how do we get through this now? Oh, you know what? Crap. I... Wait a minute. I'm just starting to think of myself, like, how am I going to do this? Because I don't have a power source, but we picked up the power source, right? So, solar panel needs to be hooked up outside, and then a wiring tool needs to be run up to the tunneling drill. That appears to be the sequence here. So there's your horizontal drill machine. Now we have to power it and mine through the rockfall. And for that, we're going to have to move quickly because it's getting late. And uh, as we well know, we don't have power beyond a certain point and might also be an issue because we don't have direct sunlight over here due to the canyon. But I'll give it a try. Maybe like the indirect sunlight will be enough. So... Yeah, anywhere is fine. Are you getting power? Mm, no. Where's where's east? Okay, so in the morning, we might have some power here. Yeah, I think... It, it, so option one basically is like, put it way up there somewhere. Option two is wait until morning. I like option two better. I will set that facing south, southeast-ish. We should catch the morning light. In the meantime, I've just mined up the rest of the nodes I could see, but I think I'll head home and we'll return first thing in the morning. All right, good morning again. I just made my way over to, this is the area where we usually encounter bear. In fact, I just killed a bear and the MOA. And this is where there is another copper site. It's a little bit out of the way for me, but I figured it's better than just keeping this in my inventory. So, and I know where it is. So I guess I'll just fill this up here and get it going for some more copper. All right, it's morning time, so we should have light down in the canyon by the cave. Let's head over and check out the situation there. Okay, we're back down and into position, and what's going on over here? Is the sun just cresting in this direction over here? Yes, okay, so we're getting some light down here finally. And okay, so it's gonna move roughly in this arc right here. So I guess, yeah, anywhere around here should be fine for the solar panel. In fact, I was kind of thinking on my way over here, uh, wh why don't we see if we can call up the space station and kind of spoof losing this thing and see if they'll send us another one. <clears throat> Mission Control, this is Prospector Temriki. There's been an unfortunate event with a bear down here. I'm going to require another solar panel, please. All right, man. <laughs> These guys are uh, easy to pull one over on. Let's see if that's a solar panel or if that's the drill. All right. Ooh, that is everything. Yes, give me all that. Ooh, I'm gonna do that again. Oh, that's lovely. I love it. Okay, so, um, <laughs> those guys up there, they don't do their homework, do they? Okay, we do have light here now. I think that that's gonna mean I have a free solar panel. Oh, no, it says quest item, so I might not be able to keep it. But anyway, let's get this all hooked in and see if we can get the, um, drill powered up. There we go. It's drilling now. Whoa! We got, we got a worm problem here, though. Ow! Yes, definitely. Okay, well, didn't realize that was going to happen. I need food. Give me all the food here. Yes, get drunk. Whoa, it's like a machine gun here. Okay, we got to see if we can make short work of this crew here. In fact, what are we wasting arrows for? Go straight over to the guns. Yeah, losing health fast. We got to avoid getting shot now. And I can't barely move. Well, it's because I'm crouching. Oh, I see. We have a little bit of a light source above us. Okay, that's how all that dust was getting in here and they're turning everything red last night. Okay, well, I was just trying to get a close-up of that, but there we go. I think, I think we've done it. We still have to drill through another one, it looks like, so... And there must be another one over here somewhere. Ah, I found it. Okay. Drill. Power and fight. There we go. And now our quest is to enter the desert canyon, which is going to be straight through here. We've been here before. Whoop, gold. Whoa, whoa, whoa ah. Scare the crap out of me, man. What are you doing? Got to be careful. I'm almost dead. Okay, I didn't realize there would be a fight over here, but that does maybe appear to be the case. Okay, over here, I can finally see something. We have an, <laughs> had an elephant. Yep, take out that cougar. Yes, a scorpion. Get it. Another elephant there. Take him out. And there we go. Mission complete. Okay, so I must have earned some money for that. Nice. We are all set then. Um, 
This could be bad right here. Did we lose Bertrand up here to that wolf? No, okay, Bertrand is over here by the water. Thank goodness, that was close. And solar panel? Solar panel, can I have this? They've taken the other one straight out of my inventory, so I imagine I'm not gonna be able to, oh no, 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 I still have that. My bad, can I just, is this mine now? Yoink, okay. I think we just ganked two solar panels off of the space station. All right, I'm gonna go hook those up at the base and see if they work. Okay, here is the test. Now, if it, if I had to guess what's gonna happen is that a quest solar panel can only power a quest item, like a drill, like the drill that we just had there, but I'm gonna see what I can do here. Um, these are not providing any power right now. These are providing power. Is it because they're not hooked up right now or? Okay, I have my regular electricity tool and my quest electricity tool and I just wanted to see, yep. So the regular electricity tool works here. If I just connect these together. Yeah, these are providing power right now. So if I hook this into the grid, say like that, I mean, I, is that, are we good now? It can, is everything powered in here? Yes, that is now, so everything here is powered now? Are you kidding me? I just got two solar panels off of that mission there. Yes, oh, these are 5,000 apiece. So that increases our power output by 50% where we were earlier today. Wow, that is so huge. We can now, we can power all of the machinery and I can do more lights and um, yeah. <laughs> wow, man, that was awesome because that saved us like, I think it's 30 electronics each, so 60 electronics. We still can't do anything at night though. Okay, so expansion projects are on the horizon. Now, while we have power and everything, let's continue working on glass walls, except for, you know, the epoxy shortage. We're always short on epoxy. Give me all the epoxy I can find here. Okay, so in that case, I'm gonna just grind resources and get these uh, things all packed up. We'll get some building materials together and we'll do a bit of a base renovation project. All right, everything's churning away. The last thing to do here is whoops upstairs at the salting station salt up that giant steak that we got off the elephant the stringy meat that we got off one of the cougars and the bacon that i pulled off of a hog earlier and yeah i think all of these let's check plus 30 health plus 30 health plus 30 health so you gotta have some of this meat on you if you want to heal up in the wild still need to probably get some ice for the ice box so that we can preserve all of this meat here i guess next time i'm in the the ballpark i'll kind of run in there and grab some i could get the deep freeze but i just haven't unlocked it yet i guess the deep freeze or the refrigerator okay so we still need more money we're doing okay on exotics i'm gonna try one more mission here and hope that it doesn't send me down some really long protracted dangerous mission all right i've had a look through the missions this one is noteworthy because it, it gives you 600 ren for completion but it looks like you're gonna have to do a lot of like harvesting and mining and farming and building in order to do that one so i'll look into that one at another time this one here though looks right up my alley we have seven days to eliminate an apex predator so let's take that one and we've done something like this before with the alpha wolf where is this one sending oh my god way up there in the riverlands no way man that is a heckin long hike to get there we were just talking about how we needed ice so why don't we just push through the snow because i think this is all snow in the middle here we'll get some ice we'll push through here and explore the central portion of the map that really the only undiscovered area left for us. What do you say we pack it in for the night, do some fishing instead, and uh, we'll set out at first light. Okay, I was just waiting until power came on here at the base so that I could set the furnace to smelting for the day. In fact, I will just continue packing that up before we leave. There we go, that's the fifth extra wall, and I'm gonna just put those into this bench over here. So we have 15 glass walls, three concrete walls, and 25 concrete floors, and that should be enough to redo the the rooftop section over here and get everything 
uh, most of everything up to concrete. It'll be a huge step in the right direction at least. Okay, I'm otherwise ready to go. Let's grab Bertrand and head to the snow biome. All right, here it is. We are basically passing through into the snow. I'm relatively confident in the composite armor to keep me safe, at least temporarily. But what I'll also do is I'm gonna skirt the edge and look for caves along the way because if we can just break into a couple caves and get some more exotics, that would be nice and go a long way toward our shopping spree that's coming up at the space station every time i set out to go through the snow biome i'm like okay i should probably bring a campfire i should probably bring some shelter with me <laughs> then i always forget to do it or just like you know like oh what the heck let's just give it a try anyway okay i believe last time we were in a snow cave there was a huge drop off and we were kind of curious about what was going on below and yeah whoa 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 watch this guy Definitely didn't need to use a bullet for that, but here we are. Okay, can I see what's going on down there? There is kind of a lot going on down there. You just have to build down to get there, and I don't see any exotics, so, you know, not that there isn't any. I just, I'm not going to take the time to go down there. Whoa! No, 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 no! Arctic Scorpion attacking Bertrand! Get out of here! Get out of here! Wow, we almost lost Bertrand. That would have been really bad. Okay, we are not stopping anywhere now. Straight through. Okay, but do watch out for these massive crags because I'm sure that would just ruin my day. Oh, no, Bertrand got poisoned and is now dead. Oh no, Bertrand. Can I, I can't even get your saddle anymore. Oh, nope, there it is right there. I've got the saddle. Ah, the snow biome is proving to be my mortal enemy once again. I can't do this on foot because a, a simple wolf could chase me down. And what happens if you fall down here? You just kind of get stuck for a second. Jeez. Ah, well, I guess I'm walking home. I mean, it's not very far. That's just the, the area right there where um, that new copper deposit is and where we get the moa. I'll get a moa on the way home and we'll start getting it tamed up. But otherwise... I don't think I'm gonna press my luck here any further. Is that a snow leopard? I didn't even know you guys were a thing. So I'll be bringing some of you home with me. Yeah, this mission is a bust for now. Yeah, here we go, snow leopard. Okay, time to go. That scorpion's on to me. Hopefully I can outrun him. Uh, Yeah, I think so. Wolves on the other hand, I don't like my chances there. All right, here we go. Found a Moa and her baby. We just need to take care of mama here at some point. Here, I'll get the shot lined up properly. There we go. And we will imprint on the baby and we can safely head home now. Why don't we just have two of these guys so I don't have to do this on the fly anymore. You, you're coming with me. All right, we return home defeated and short our sec. We've lost two, two Moa now. We lost Can't Talk and we lost Bertrand. We'll raise these guys up and give them some names uh, tomorrow or the next day. So why don't you guys, yeah, go ahead and go here and stop leading and you guys will just, you know, make yourselves at home, I guess. In the meantime, I should be ready to go on base construction. So let me unpack the inventory and get ready for that. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. I just wanted to get the, the building materials into my inventory, which is not an option because it's too heavy. So what we need to do first is do the demo work and then we'll have to swiftly come in behind and do the construction because all of this stuff is going to be exposed to the open air here pretty soon. Okay, there it is. It's a little bit more spacious up here now, isn't it? I really do find it to be a shame that you can't have any outdoor furniture, really. Like, I couldn't set up a nice, like, fireplace outside with, um, some, some, some couches around it or something. Anyway, no time for a lollygagging. We've got to get to work here, so put away those stone things, and I'll probably just dismantle them in the future. Grab up the concrete and the tempered glass, and I think we're ready to get started here. We got some floating wires. I'll fix that soon when I'm not when I'm a little bit less panicked and I think uh what are we doing here we're doing concrete on this side actually I might have a couple of extra concrete shapes here because this up here is going to be glass okay for now we'll just do some regular walls here I'm not sure if I'm gonna want windows there eventually or not there we go okay so that's concrete wall there and then we're gonna do a glass wall all the way around the perimeter Okay, so that's what that looks like. Ooh, I'm starting to feel kind of fancy already. So the idea from here was to just have a flat rooftop, which 
I do understand is is kind of boring, but you also kind of got to do what you got to do here. And honestly, the sloped roof pieces are challenging, to say the least, especially with um, a five by five space like this room is here. So we're at least going to see what it looks like flat to begin with. Okay, and that is what it looks like. And quite honestly, I don't mind it from the inside here. The uh, cabinet is a little bit tall for this living space here. But man, it's so much brighter up here. Let's turn my light out and... Uh, I mean, it's not great, but it's it's better. It just had a very cramped feeling up here before. And so we'll do a railing along the outside here. And maybe we'll do a staircase and a railing up to the actual rooftop up here, maybe? We gotta see what it looks like from outside because I imagine in its current state, it does not look very good. Survey says... Oh, it um, doesn't look half bad. It does, it just needs like trim work, you know? I, I've been saying it all along. I've gotta, the next investment for concrete is gonna go into pillars so that I can do the same sort of convention here and do some like borders. But yeah, it's it's coming around. It's, um, it's a big box. It's two big boxes, but <laughs> at least on the inside, I feel like it has. Uh, it looks better than the outside. It's a little little cluttered now with all the the vestiges we have. Like I said, I'm gonna rearrange that once we get a final layout decided upon. But yeah, this room here looks a lot cooler now, I think. I'll just probably need to get some lights set up there. Maybe that's what I'll work on right now. But yeah, we're really not going anywhere until these guys are fully tamed and grown. Where's the other one? Have we lost one already? No, he's just loafed off in this direction. What are you doing over here? You're not taming at all. You need to come this way over by the bed and the food. Maybe I need to get a door after all and kind of pen you guys in here. But anyway, I'm going to work on some base beautification stuff and make sure that the industry is rolling and we're working on resource production. In the next one, we're going to go do the Riverlands operation where we have to take down an apex predator. And hopefully in the meantime, I will have leveled up so that I can get the platinum sheath so that we can get the platinum fiber or the platinum weave so that we can get polar bear rugs and also get the really good fishing lures. But anyway, my friends, thank you for joining me on this adventure and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.